Hello, welcome to Earth. This week, scientists discovered that our species may be 150,000 years older than we thought. With that in mind, this video we ask if there was an advanced civilization before us. Fossils recently found in Morocco suggest that Homo sapiens lineage became distinct as early as 350,000 years ago. That's adding as much as 150,000 to our to our species history. The new evidence provides solid support to those suspicions. It comes from a Moroccan site called Jebel Irhoud, has been puzzling human evolution researchers for more than 50 years. Hominin remains were found at the site in the 1960s. They have such an odd mix of ancient and modern features that they were initially mistaken for an African version of Neanderthal. An analysis of the new fossils and those found at the site in the 1960s confirm that the hominins had a primitive elongated brain case but the new adult skull shows that the hominins combined this ancient feature with a small lightly built modern face. One that the researchers say is virtually indistinguishable from modern homo sapiens. So with these dates being pushed ever further back it would seem reasonable to ask the question what if we as a species were a lot older and what kind of lives did they lead? Evidence is building that there may well have been a, a pre-civilization. People like Graham Hancock, Randall Carlson and John Anthony West firmly believe and have compelling research and evidence to back up the claims that yes, there was a lost civilization. And there are many amazing sites around the world which also fit into this model. The first site would, would be the Mame Bridge that they discovered in the Sea of Galilee. They're dating it to 9,500 years ago. Amazing. However, this next site is far, far more important. Gobekli Tepe in Turkey has been dated at 11,000 years old. This puts it 6,000 years older than Stonehenge. It is believed by archaeologist Klaus Schmidt that this is the oldest human place of worship. At 11,000 years old, it shouldn't have been built at this time and scientists and other people have said they even developed agriculture. This site being the earliest evidence of people moving from hunter-gathering to, to farming. Another intriguing religious site is Borobudur. Found in central Java, Indonesia, it's the world's largest Buddhist temple and also one of the greatest Buddhist monuments in the world. The temple consists of nine stacked platforms, six square and three circular, topped by a central dome. The temple is decorated by 2,672 reliefs, panels and 504 Buddhist statues. The central dome is surrounded by 72 Buddha statues, each seated inside a perforated stupa. This relates to, to other pyramids in the world, such as Egypt. And talking of Egypt, let's not forget the Sphinx. There has been much debate over the date of construction of the, the Sphinx. The Sphinx water erosion hypothesis contends that the main type of weathering evident on the enclosure walls of the Great Sphinx was caused by prolonged and extensive rainfall. This theory is rejected by mainstream Egyptologists and geologists. But if proven true, would make the Sphinx a great deal older. We would then have to assume that humanity itself is just as old. You may find this all highly unlikely and ask yourself, well, if there had been advanced civilizations, wouldn't we see more evidence? An advanced civilization may at some point be mining. They would need the same sort of things as we use today and we would notice that. In addition, you would see bizarre fossil changes animals from one part of the world mysteriously appearing in another. Examples like horses appearing in North America, peppers and potatoes appearing in Asia, or maybe major species starting to disappear. Well, actually, we're beginning to see that very evidence come to light today. It's quite possible that history is not the linear path we have been, been taught, and there are some more strange and weird things for us to discover. Out of place artifacts or old parts 
is a term applied to dozens of prehistoric objects found in various places around the world, and they seem to show a level of technological advancement which does not fit with the time they were made. One such item is the Baghdad battery, a clay jar with an asphalt stopper and an iron rod which was made some 2000 years ago and has been proven capable of generating more than a volt of electricity. It should not be at that point of history. People were not meant to know or understand electricity. Another strange discovery which, which fits together with this battery are the Egyptian light bulbs. These stone reliefs depict figures standing around a large light bulb like object. Eric von Duniken, who wrote Chariot of the Guards, created a model of the bulb which works when connected to a power source and emits an eerie purplish light. So the next question would be, what power source? How about a 1.8 billion year old nuclear reactor? In 1972, a French factory imported uranium from Africa. The uranium, however, had already been extracted. They found the site of origin to have apparently functioned as a large-scale nuclear reactor that came into being 1.8 billion years ago and was in operation for some 500,000 years. Oh, so, okay, we have the power source, but that means people would need to be traveling and trading. How was that possible? Well, it was. A portion of a map was discovered created by a Turkish admiral and cartographer named Perry Reis in 1513. Sourced from various earlier maps, it shows land masses yet to be discovered and even has Antarctica with no ice. And here's yet more proof of our engineering ability 2000 years ago. This is the world's first seismoscope, an earthquake detector created 2000 years ago, made in China during the Han Dynasty in 220 AD. It's amazing. And talking of China, how about these 150,000 year old pipes? These pipes are claimed to be natural and are made from iron rich magma which had risen from deep in the earth, bringing the iron up into the fissures where it solidified into tubes. Though it is admitted that they have some mysterious properties such as radioactivity. So let's look at an object that is clearly man-made. The Antikythera mechanism is a 2000 year old mechanical device used to calculate the position of the sun, moon and planets. This level of engineering does not fit with the time period. And then there are objects that just don't fit period. Like the drill bit which was found encased in coal in a mine in Scotland in 1852. Other confusing items are discovered, like the 2.8 billion year old spheres found all over the globe. Their formation is, is a mystery. Many of these objects have properties that we don't understand, or we don't know how they were constructed. The Iron Pillar of Delhi is at least 1,500 years old, but it could be older. In this time, it has remained rust-free and scientists do not know how it was made with such purity. And then you have the, the Viking swords. They date from 800 to 1000 AD. The carbon content of these swords is three times higher than any other swords at that time. The ore would have to have been heated to 3000 degrees. Were they using technologies we don't realize they had? There have been some strange discoveries such as a 500,000 year old spark plug encased in rock, even a hammer which was dated to a hundred million years old. Skeptics point to both these items being fraudulent, but the implications if they were true are mind-blowing. Just imagine if these tools are that old, what could they have been building? Well, how about a million year old bridge? According to an ancient Indian legend, King Rama built a bridge between India and Sri Lanka more than a million years ago, the remnants of which appear on a satellite image, but many claim it to be just a natural formation. Yet there are many other places with these strange bridges, walls and, and pathways. Did you know there is a Great Wall of Texas? 
In 1852, in what is now known as Rockwell Company, Texas farmers digging a well discovered what appeared to be an ancient rock wall. Estimated to be some 200 to 400,000 years old, some again say it's a natural formation, while others state it's clearly man-made. The ocean is also hiding these structures. Submerged off the coast of the Bahamas is the Bimini Road, an ancient pathway some say leads to Atlantis. Whatever you choose to believe, it's clear that ancient civilizations were far, far more advanced than we give them credit for. We must remember, if they can disappear, so can we. Thanks for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe. See ya.